Hi, I'm Mike Scotchko, Valhalla High School media arts teacher, and I'm here today with Stephen Moyer, former student, current college student, mentor to my Mac Lab students, and entrepreneur. You got a lot going on, Stephen. Welcome. Thank you for having me. I remember a time way back when, when you turned in a portfolio, a brilliant portfolio of work, but it was entitled Apathy. What was that all about? Well, uh, Apathy, I guess, is the best way to describe how I felt about school at that point. Um, I wasn't very happy with how we were asked to learn things, and the, uh, the Mac Lab was a great opportunity for me to, to choose how I wanted to learn. Um, we had many tools available to us, thankfully, and uh, we also had a great mentor available to us, which was you at that point. Well, thanks. The the transition point for me is I remember in April of whatever year that was, you came up to me with this idea, this grandiose idea. Why don't you tell our viewers what that idea was? The overarching idea was to create something that incorporated all of our available software and all of our available tools, which were cameras, both photography and video cameras. Um, and we, I was trying to figure out a way to incorporate all these things, uh, so I pitched the idea to you of a movie, uh, but we only had two months at that point. That was a problem. Yes, uh, so we cut it down to a trailer. Um, and the trailer of this movie, Solitude, which didn't exist, uh, was filmed with the help of many of your best students from many periods. But the finished project included a trailer, uh, posters, and t-shirts, all student generated. We made a website as yeah. well. Um, there were, I think, somewhere between 11 and 15 students. I mean, it kind of dwindled down towards the end because of people getting grounded and things like that. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I mean, the Solitude Project was this huge thing we did in two months. Now, from that project, I watched Careers Blossom, and one of them was yours. What's happened since then? Um, I have done seven or eight photo shoots now for an audio company and their new product, or products, I should say, there's two of them. And I've also done three commercials for them. Um, I've also done a few other miscellaneous uh, freelance projects, but uh, out of that uh, grew the mentorship, which I started with uh, your class, or your students. Yeah, tell uh, us a little bit more about, you, your mentors are filming this interview <laughs> right now. When I was in the Mac Lab, um, we learned Photoshop, but we never learned what would happen if someone asked us to Photoshop a product for them, or asked us to take a picture of a product for them, or a model. Um, we were working a lot with stock photography at that point that you had uh, made available to us. So I thought it would be a neat idea to make these things available to your current students. Um, so when the opportunity came for another freelance project, uh, I asked if your students wanted to be involved. Um, and then uh, the collaboration was born. Yeah, it's quite the synergetic um, project you've got working here because the students are learning real life skills from someone who's forced to teach. And when you teach, you learn twice. Most definitely, yes. And um, it's been just thoroughly uh, a self-feeding loop of creativity. And it's spilled over into the classroom and these projects are real exciting to the other kids. We are not able to reveal what you've been filming because the product hasn't been released yet. That's right, there's uh, an informal non-disclosure agreement, but uh, that project was a lot of fun. We spent two months planning beforehand. There were a lot of delays, just as always, but it turned out great so far. That's all I can really say until it's posted on the internet. Their website will be live soon, and their website is entirely comprised of our pictures. So this is another success on my part and the students' part and the Mac Lab's part. Yeah, it's just a terrific project, and we have other alumni following in your footsteps. We have our current students who are filming this who are thinking about doing the same thing. It's steamrolled into just transforming our classroom. I want to thank you for stopping by and sharing your expertise. Good luck yeah. to you in the future. Thank you. All right, and that's it from the Valhalla High School Library, where we're telling you about what a MacLab alumni can do for our current students.